so the England Gambit has been popularized by a couple YouTubers. Um, we have two variations we're going to show against the England. And we're going to start with D takes E5. And you made a reference to this earlier in the chapter, Jesse. I think the England Gambit should be renamed the Eng Blunder Gambit. Oh, good one, Matt. <laughs> good one. Um, yeah, I have I've heard that uh, the Eng Blunder Gambit... <laughs> <laughs> whatever we just call it. Uh, it really is just giving away a center pawn on move one. And so we're going to take it. And uh, a lot of the time, we're either going to hang on to this pawn and just keep this extra strong E pawn, or we'll give it up with a huge positional, uh, with with big positional compensation. Um, so D takes E5. There's a few things white could throw at you. We're going to look at two different moves. Uh, we'll look at knight c6 and d6, but we'll start with knight c6 first. Um, so again, white can do a lot of things here, but we're just going to simply develop and defend the pawn. And almost always you're going to see uh, queen e7 bearing down on this pawn. So um, what, are the, what are the ideas here between our next recommendation, knight c3? Yes, the reason we're recommending knight c3, the most common move here, is bishop to f4. This is where a lot of the traps come into play. There's ideas like queen to b4 check that you got to be really careful with. Um, and if you look at the stats at the club level, bishop f4, black is winning 57% to 40% for white. So black is outscoring white because of these additional traps you have to think about. Our move knight c3 is killing off that queen b4 check trap idea. So we're just giving back this pawn. Knight takes e5. But we're going to play e4 here. And now look at the position. We have a very classical development. We, like, we played e4, d4, both knights to the center. And in return, what has black done? They've lost their center pawn. They put a queen on e7 blocking their bishop on f8. <laughs> and they've moved a knight twice. So I think we already have a good position. And we've avoided some of the most common traps up until this point. Yep, so we're giving the pawn back, but we have such a big advantage in development that we're totally fine with that. Uh, and like you said, we avoid the trappy queen check lines where you're going to have to like, get into some weird like blocking and counter attacking, like sharp variations. So we're just going to avoid all of that and get give you a nice solid position. Um, so white can take our knight. Uh, we'll take back with the queen. And kind of like giving us another free development piece. Which queen is better placed here? It's got to be got to be ours, bearing down on the f7 pawn someday. Yeah, and let's compare um, all of them. Which bishops are better? Which knight is better? Who has more space? <laughs> so <laughs> we're winning in all the imbalances here and scoring 65 to 70 percent in the club database. Yeah. Um, so yeah, great practical chances. Even though we seeded the pawn back. Um, so yeah, that was interesting because uh, with the bishop f4 main line, you said black was winning like 60%, and now in this uh, safer line, we're at 65 to 70%. And also, like psychologically, this is not what you want to see <laughs> as an England Gambit player. You're looking for like craziness, like chaos on the board. Um, so next move for black, knight f6, most popular move, and we can just pin the pin the knight with bishop g5. And this is close to a two-pawn advantage already, according to Stockfish. Uh, mm -hmm. I, when I made the notes, it was a 1.9 eval at this point. So now the most popular move, h6. I'm looking at the database right now, 420 games. Um, no coincidence, probably, but it's a blunder, h6. The other moves are all 300 games or less. This is leading to a line that has a very cool checkmate. Knight to d5, hitting the queen triple attack in the knight on f6 mm -hmm. but this pawn on e4 does look to be hanging the most popular move in the club database it does include blitz games uh, is queen takes e4 check let's see the average rating on this move queen takes e4 1978 jesse 1978 yep 116 a... games 1978 average queen takes e4 we're gonna take back knight takes e4 can't take our queen and knight takes c7, checkmate the England gambit, a.k.a. the end blunder gambit, lost in 10 moves. 
checkmate made it in 10 moves that's uh totally flipping the script on what an england gambit player is looking for well what a move i hadn't seen this line before so that's a really cool one so instead black just has to tuck their king away <laughs> be down, down a, a queen down a queen right <laughs> and maybe they'll have some traps at that point that that we aren't prepared for <laughs> so let's that's look at deep deep into the theory there <laughs> yeah let's look at a uh, 2d6 next that's the other main option mm -hmm. so after d6 Again, we're going to ignore this move. We're not going to give black the fun of taking, allowing them to gambit the pawn and to get quick development. We're just going mm -hmm. to play knight f3. Classical development for ourselves, bring pieces to the center. So here, black is going to probably play knight c6. This is 44,000 games out of about 60,000. Um, and here I found a very annoying line for black. Bishop to g5. I think it's probably the most annoying move. If bishop e7 is played, we can capture the bishop. Um, so f6 here is the most popular move because black wants to still continue this gambit style. So mm -hmm. pawn to f6. Yeah, notice that uh, black doesn't have their queen on e2, and so they can't do this uh, trappy uh, uh, b4 check stuff. So after f6, um, we can just take the pawn. They can take back, and we're not going to resolve this tension or anything. We can just keep developing. Um, knight c3, and again, uh, I think, did we hold on to the pawn in this line? Yeah, so we held on to the pawn in this line, and uh, we didn't really have to cede anything in return. Yeah, so our plan's going to be pawn to e4, bishop to c4, king side castle. So again, we're going very classic development, putting all the pieces on their most natural squares. Um, black's down a pawn, that bishop on f8 is blocked, and this diagonal is open to g8. So if we do a quick check of stockfish eval here, we're looking at a 1.7 lead for white and pretty low risk. Yep, and notice with the bishop on c4, there's no castling for black. So, and I was black and try to go queen side. It's a strange, strange uh, take for the England. Um, so yeah, get get everything we we're asking for in the opening in this line as well. Yeah, and after going through those two lines, I just realized um, I might propose the England Gambit as a odds chess position for chess.com. So, you know, maybe <laughs> if you're about 300 point difference, play the England Gambit, shouldn't level the playing field. 